Andrew is deciding to finally make a change in his life. He's going to bulk up during winter break. He tracks everything with his food scale. Andrew proceeds to live the most miserable winter break of his life and only gains one pound in two weeks. Ashish! Ashish is enjoying the last few days of the year with his family. He appreciates his mother's cooking, but he also does so in moderation. He is grateful for everything, all the while putting on a solid four pounds of muscle in two weeks. He proceeds to have his most productive winter break of his life. Luckily for us, Ashish has shared some of his insight on how to bulk up properly while keeping our sanity. I'm afraid to admit the fact that I used to live a life that was eerily close to that of Andrew's. You heard me right. I used to track the amount of calories I ate. Hell no. Now you may be asking yourself, why is this random Asian guy on the internet on YouTube telling me to stop tracking my food? That's what's gotten me progress. That's what's made me leaner. I'm gonna get philosophical here. I don't wanna get philosophical, but I have to be that guy. We gotta go back to, you know, the OG question of, would you rather be the man, the poor man, that is super happy, super content with his life, or would you rather be the man that is the richest man alive? However, he is not content, he is not happy, he is always depressed. A hundred times out of a hundred times, I would answer, I would say, I will be that man that is always happy, but very poor. What I'm saying is, hey, when you track your shit, through my experience, when you track how many grams, how many fucking pounds of rice you're eating in a week, you are living an absolutely miserable life. Oh, hell no. Sure, you might say, you might argue that it's worth it in the end, you know, to gain that extra fucking two pounds of muscle or that, or lose that ten pounds. But after that, I don't, I honestly don't think it's worth it. Why not enjoy the process right now? Whilst also, while being able to lose 10 pounds, whilst also being able to gain two pounds of lean muscle mass. Why not enjoy the process? Why not appreciate mom's cooking? Hey, come on, it's winter break. It's almost Christmas, Hanukkah, I don't, whatever you celebrate. Why not appreciate your mom's cooking or your family's cooking? You answer that question. Enjoy the process. I really wish I had somebody that told me, that told young Andy that was tracking his calories, the calories he put on his plate, the amount of fucking rice he was eating. I really wish somebody told me, hey, Andy, don't do this. You're miserable right now. I digress. I was just, I really wish somebody had told me that I would only have to eat in a 300 to 500 caloric surplus if I want to bulk up. This is very marginal because 300 to 500, this is something that I don't even think you need to track. Right? In my experience, all I need is my protein, right? Some carbs, not too many carbs, in the form of single ingredient foods, like just potatoes or just rice, no processed shit, and greens, right? Have a good amount of this and eat until you're full. Eat until you're full and slightly more. That will allow you to eat in a caloric surplus. That, in my experience, has worked, has maximized my <laughs> happiness output and also maximized how much I bulked up. I'm glad. I'm much happier. I'm seeing much better results because I can sustain this for a longer period of time. You know, just it's basic math, right? You just want to eat in a surplus. Make sure you're eating enough food, getting enough protein. Protein is by far the most important part and you're good. I digress. What I'm saying is eat slightly over your maximum capacity that you feel. Just eat slightly over that feeling of fullness and you will successfully bulk up and also enjoy the process at the same time. For my learned friends out there, another really good piece of advice that I really wish younger Andy knew is don't stop drinking. Okay, that, that sounds super fucking weird. What I mean by this is at one point, like when you're cutting, you don't wanna drink in your calories, right? But when you're bulking, I think you can do the opposite. You can drink in your calories. And I think the perfect way to maintain a bulk to bulk up properly whilst not becoming fucking big chungus is drinking milk. Milk, I, I think by far is the most underrated drink out there or fucking liquid out there. Or actually it's it's right behind my cup. Drink milk. Milk, I think is the perfect drink 
for bulking. Fucking, it's, it's got a good amount of healthy fats, it's got a good amount of carbs, and it has good protein. What can you ask for more? Okay, and for my learned friends out there that are allergic to this beautiful white substance, Consider soy milk. The soy boy meme out there, I think it's really over-exaggerated. Unless you're drinking soy milk for the rest of your life, you shouldn't worry about your testicles shrinking. If you can't drink milk, if you're lactose intolerant, consider soy milk. I really do think it is underrated as fuck. Soy milk is also really good, and it's got a shit ton of protein. It tastes good too. And <clears throat> I just think milk, soy milk, they're all really good. I really do wish a younger version of myself knew that I should train hard because you know, okay back to story time what I'm saying is when I was young whenever I would try to bulk up I would only cut what whenever I bulked up that was I, I did so really wrongly is that a word and however I try to bulk I wouldn't train my muscles I just do fucking cardio I'd, I'd just run outside I'd I would just eat in a color surplus, right? I've learned that when you're bulking and it's scientifically backed to when you're eating in a surplus, you can lift more. You're more strong. You're stronger. Go crazy on your compound lifts, okay? Go crazy in your training workouts. Go crazy in your training regime. Go fucking crazy. You're gonna turn into big chungus if you don't fucking train. This is something young Andy has realized. Why? I got fat because I didn't train when I was bulking. I think there's a fine line between bulking and getting fat. But most people, what they do is they get fat. You don't want that happening, so you want to train, okay? Okay, one thing is focus on form. I don't want you fucking dying under that bench press machine. And in my experience, just, just to tell you a bit, I think when whenever I'm bulking, I add like 15 pounds on my squat. I add like five, 10 pounds on my bench. So really just add like five or so pounds and then see where you're at. If you still feel like it's it's light, obviously get a spot or two. I'm not gonna go over progressively overloading because I'm sure you've heard of this so many goddamn times, but I'm just saying progressively overload yourself, continue training, don't get fucking lazy and you'll see a lot of progress in your bulk. I can't stress this enough in every video, just do it. What is repetition? What is repetition the mother of? Repetition is the mother of success. Okay, if you if you don't do it, how else are you gonna do it? Oh no, no, Andy, I'm gonna fucking imagine it in my fantasy, in my dreams. Shut the fuck up. You know you're not. Oh no, Andy, I'm, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. No, you're not. You're just gonna say the same shit again. Andy, no, no, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Oh, what happens the next day? Oh no, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Shut up. Just do it. That's it for me, okay. Remember, if you want to see the rainbow, you gotta put up with the rain. Peace. Sarapakarai. Sarapakarai.